fine. I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Ah, so this was making sense now because that's where we found both the irons. Well, yes, but we also found the bloody uh, tablecloth. So maybe whoever the killer was took a tablecloth under the floorboards with them, stabbed up to kill Byakuya. That absorbed all the blood and then they brought it in there and left it in there. <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! <laughs> that one hamster never wakes up. Look, it's always asleep. The other three are always all looking cute, and the one's all fucking asleep. Here he goes blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know? Anyway... It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Huh. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? Which means they weren't in the party. Which means it was either him, or the gamer girl, or the swordsman girl, or the Yakuza. It was one of the four. So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Well, that's true. Mo Monomi was there, too. Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but... I was unable to leave the bathroom. Well, that's the thing. We we have to take her word for it. We don't actually have uh, any real evidence that she was in the bathroom during the blackout. So we kind of have to take her word for it. So she's still a suspect, in my opinion. I was in the kitchen for a <laughs> long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Hmm. He's definitely a prime suspect, then. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! The Yakuza Kid, I keep forgetting his name. Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Yay! It's decided! What? what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> oh, that'll convince them. See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Good news, you're not allowed to use the silencer. You can use the silencer with the X button as many times as you want. When you use the silencer, you shoot down the white noise. Okay. When you shoot down the white noise, your time limit increases a little. Oh, that's different. That didn't happen in the last game. We shoot an actual remark with your silencer instead of the white noise. The time limit decreases. Okay. If the difficulty says a gentle, it won't happen at all. Okay. You want to do a little bit? Okay. Blah 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 blah. Bang 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 bang. Okay. Okay. Let's see what they got to say. I'll try to shoot the white noise and get some time back. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day. 
going to the storage room in the dark. Oh my god. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. Does he have no the alibi? Is self -evident. Wait a minute. Maybe he does have an alibi because the gamer girl was standing outside and she said no one came in or out. So how in the hell did he get inside into the storage room and go under the floorboards if he was outside of the, the building? He couldn't. So maybe I gotta use her account. During the party, the killer. I think it's well, Chiaki's account. Enemy. Let's double check. I'm pretty sure it's Chiaki's account here. See? He walked away. He never got inside, so there's no way it could have been him. It's her account. It's gotta be her account. Floor all right. like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day. That's just you. I like Without that. going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true? Will you don't act like I'm the fucking killer. But when the party started, nobody saw you. You know. That means you have no alibi. Here we go. Nice. No, that's wrong. Got it. Very nice. This is much harder than the first game, but I like it. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um. Oh, you're right. Huh, what happened for you, Hiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? All alone in a place like this? I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Heh, <laughs> how diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. The <laughs> It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. No, here you go. I think right now, I think it's Teru Teru. Because you see, he all of a sudden he tried to redirect and make it seem like there's another way. I think it's Teru Teru. I think he did it. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. I think Teru Teru was cooking, but what he stopped cooking, went all the way around, went under the under the floorboards, right? The power went out. He stabbed Byakuya while he was under there, went back up, and that's when he ran at the end and he said, Oh, uh, so the blood guts not just in the kitchen? I think it's Terra Terra. During the party, it was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. Well, also, he's a little mutant freak who I fucking hate, and I hope that he dies anyway, so hopefully he is the first killer. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. Just look at this fucking guy. Look at him. Pillsbury Doughboy fucking face cartoon. No actual white whites of his eyes. Just these scribbled pupils. Two obviously painted on rosy cheeks. One giant mutated tooth. Doesn't actually have individual teeth. Just one giant buck tooth. He's got fucking cornrows on the side of his fucking head, but his hair is then combed to the side. He's the ultimate douchebag. He needs to die. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. If he came from the kitchen and not from the party room, it's easier. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Yeah, because the fucking the kitchen is right next to the storage room, I thought, right? I guess something about it, I feel like there's something I'll overlook. The clarity like stick once again. We're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. And Monokuma jumps up. Time's up! Oh well, we're all dead. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's see here. The hump. Hold on.
Murder Threat. During the blackout, moving to fire the door like that is like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles. What a pain! I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? A light. The killer's method for moving in the dark might be what one person suggested. So I'm looking for the method by which the killer moved through the dark. Okay. 